Hey yo, it's the boy Book back with another episode. Changing up the intro, y'all like that? Still can't think of a name for him. Uh, and you guys haven't suggested anything, so I'm, I'm gonna blame you guys on that one. All right, not me. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna we're gonna try and attempt. You know how we're trying to get through this pre-hard mode fast because everyone loves hard mode. At least 90% of people will love a hard mode that watch my videos. Because I feel like, you know, for some people, pretty hard mode can be boring. Maybe because it's slow. I don't know. Definitely hard mode is way more action-packed and fast, but there's always something about starting a new game that always feels nice to me. Maybe it's just a fresh slate, new world. What the fuck do I keep walking into? But uh, I don't know. I always liked beginning worlds off. Fresh and new. Cause that's like we can just see a bunch of things in effect. Like where, what loot are we gonna get from chess? What type of world generation are we gonna have? You know, stuff like that. Where am I gonna live? Always good things in my opinion when we start a new world. And those are some of the good things I look forward to when starting a new world. But you know, some people it just they may not like it. Hey yo, nurse! I need you on these boys ASAP. You ain't healing them. I kind of need them alive, so I would appreciate it. Oh, man. Motherfucker's dying today. Motherfucker's dying today. I'm trying to lure them over here. Get out the way. Get out the way. Watch out. Get out the way. The nurse was landing some heal shots. We're going over here. I'm trying to save my boys. Am I going way over here? Okay. This should be good enough. Nobody should be dying now. I really need some infinite ammo weapons. I mean, I had the the snowball gun. But I kind of just, just got rid of that. But uh, my bad if any videos are posted in between large gaps. Fallout 76 is officially out. I got like two playthroughs already going on. Three pretty much if you count the beta character. We kind of just left the beta character behind. Uh, all three of us that are playing. Fuck, that's the one person I wish. It's very annoying. I didn't want him to die. The nurse ain't doing her damn job, and the NPCs are really stupid. So that doesn't help. Instead of looking for the nurse, he's gonna just run around. But, uh, yeah, so if there's any gaps in between stuff, I'm doing a solo Fallout 76 playthrough. And I'm doing one with Jirachi and Ryan. Uh, because it's nice to have options, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know what, what how the videos are gonna post on that. I don't think I'm gonna do a full series. I already showed off a lot, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot of the beta. But you guys let me know if any of you here watch the Fallout 76 videos, which I assume most of you do. Uh, at least 200 of you that watch just the regular tutorials so you do. Unless you somehow find my channel through directly Fallout, that's extremely interesting. And hello, you probably won't be watching this video. <laughs> but uh, let me know, I don't know, maybe I could do videos of me doing quests. Solo, it'd be solo. I will still have highlights here and there. I've recorded a bunch of stuff from the the release day and release night, I guess. And uh, I pretty much play. I'll be honest, I played like 12 hours straight. Might I might have a problem. I love Fallout, man. Fallout 76 definitely has its like, bad features though, but it's still a Fallout game. Fallout universe, it's still good. It may not be the best Fallout, but always having new stuff in Fallout. Especially official stuff and not straight from mods. Not saying that mods are bad. Uh, my channel's made up of mods. Shout out all the Terrarium mod developers. I love you guys. But uh, it's like, I don't know. It's a fresh new world and it's fun to explore. Ranged weapon right here. This weapon doesn't have any ammo, but like, do I want to use it? Probably not until I can make it into the dual plume or the tri plume. Ooh, can't do that for a while. Yeah, I can't do that for a very long time. But, uh, we got a sword here. Great, right? Can't wait to use it. We did it, though. And Goblin can move in, which is very important to us progressing in certain areas. Uh, let's make some more houses here. Where is Boxinator? There it is. Boom. I think we're going to make these higher by just two. Just, fuck. That's not even... Oof, that's a big oof. All right, let's make some beautiful youth woodeth. Beautiful. I've never seen a material so nice and smooth before. I'm lying. It's kind of, it's kind of got some edges on it, as you can see. It's got a lot of, ooh, it's got a lot of ridges and stuff. 
Okay, but yeah, we, we did this so we can make armor. I think I don't remember. We were gonna make the Victide armor originally, but then I was like, "Fuck Victide!" You know, I had there was that whole "fuck Victide." I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I dropped a diss track and everything. But you would three defense. I don't think any armor is gonna be better than the current armor I'm wearing. There's also the bow and the pistol. I don't think I'm gonna make those just because I don't think they're worth making, honestly. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, can't make the armor set. I am missing something. Oh! Oof! <laughs> That's another big oof. Damn it, NPCs aren't gonna move in because it's nighttime. No, it's not nighttime yet. It's not even close to nighttime. Garrett the guide? Are you kidding me? That's who moves in? Are you kidding me? Who moved in? Fucking Rosalva the Dryad? Are you kidding me, Rosalva? I didn't want you here. Oh, me, oh my. Okay, so. Uh, moving on, the queen jellyfish. Hold up, let's activate the spore mother just in case. I don't think I'll actually be fighting her. But uh, queen jellyfish, click, click it, click it. It's not clicking. Jellyfish resonator. Okay, no problem. Unusable at the beach during day. Oh sweet, gotta wait a whole like ten minutes. So uh, I don't think I have the stuff to make the resonator, but I might. I don't know what that is. Uh, we need aqu aquatic bars. Yeah, I don't think I've killed. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I think I can. Yo. Oh, what? Oh, wait. Oh, we just need a demon altar. What the hell is the name of the demon altar thing? Altar. There's a demon altar we can make. Mm. Oh, that one's not that hard to make. Some of these aren't too bad. Altar. Access the demon altar. That isn't hard either. Okay, a couple of these aren't too bad. This one might be the hardest. So you need hellstone. This one, it's not too bad. It really isn't bad at all. Maybe the hardest thing would be the potions. This one might be the one though. Candles, silk, and an obsidian table. I've been to hell. Yeah, I have been to hell. So let's see here. Candle. Can I can't even make a fucking candle. Uh, we just need torches in there three torches i think so candle boom one two three and then we need silk i don't have a loom or a saw let's start with a saw mario the goddamn painter has moved in are you kidding what am i gonna use you for all right i found a little bypass here i don't actually have to go to hell because i could just craft obsidian if i know how to spell it all right boom do a little obsidian crafting until we can make the table. There it is. Boom. And now with the table, we make the altar. Boom. Beautiful. Nice and easy. Altar has been crafted. And now we can make the resonator. Boom, bada, bing. Good job. Thank you. So, moving on. Uh, we're going to head to the jungle. Have I discovered the jungle? I have. Okay. We're going to go to the jungle while it's nighttime. And then we're going to attempt to uh, find the spore mother and do that in the meantime while we wait for daytime to take on the jellyfish. What else can I take on? I don't even know if I can take on anything else. I don't think I'm ready to fight the hive mind. I don't even know what the hell hypothema is. I think that's enigma mod. It is. Uh, no clue if we could take that on. Queen bee, no clue. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't think we're ready to take on a good bit of these bosses. I gotta find an armor in between, or at least some stronger weaponry. And speaking about stronger weaponry, I need to go look up some stronger weaponry. Or, uh, not strong. Well, I don't know. I think some people left some comments. I need to read some comments. Oh, I don't think I've ever went inside of this yet. There's a little thing here. And there's a chest in here, too. Uh, okay, not bad. And then there's this mirror. You look in the mirror, you see your reflection, but there's also something moving behind you. I, I think this thing has something to do later. I don't know. For now, we're just gonna leave it. Uh, and we're gonna continue our way to the jungle. And hopefully, the spore mother won't be too hard. We got piercing weapons, we should be fine. But yeah, like I said, I need some stronger weaponry. And we need it soon if we want to take on some other bosses. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to take on more than one boss. Maybe I'm underestimating myself. 
but uh, I don't know. I don't want to get clapped. Is all I'm trying to say. Book does not like Sheik's being clapped, and I don't see the problem with that. Okay, yeah, I know I see the jungle stone right here, but we're gonna have a whole episode where we gather all of them. Just give it some time, cause uh, we'll, we'll come out eventually. <laughs> is this a is this slime statue? That's not connected to anything. Uh, I don't know if I enjoyed the jungle being in the Vario biome. I don't really explore this biome too much. I don't know what what's down here we're about to see. Ooh, give me that Kakatikin Kakatishi in order. Kakatitikin. Uh ooh, it's ass. <laughs> I think it might be too weak. Does it make something for bosses? No. I don't see anything. A boss spawn. No, okay. I'm not gonna worry about it then. I'm honestly just gonna trash it. A bunch of nasty boys here. Kill these nasty boys for me. There's a chest in here. What? I don't even see the chest from that. I got robbed of a chest. What is this? What? This jungle is a lot less jungle. What the fuck? Why can I see over there? Perfect enchanted stone. Uh, this jungle is a lot less jungle. And a lot more not jungle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there ain't a lot of jungle here is what I'm saying. Let's keep going down. It's the jungle though. If you like dig down, you'll eventually find stuff. Hey, we got a flare gun. We can make that uh, flare stone, I think. Not really the most useful weapon. But it's a nice weapon. It's not useful. It's nice. I don't know. I haven't used it for a long ass time. I think the last ranger character we played as is the last time we even touched that gun. And that was a while ago, wasn't it? It was like a year. Oh, we're coming down to finally an open area. I can actually do something. That's a lot of gold. Do I have any bombs? No. Don't worry about it then. I found them. I can't believe I actually found him. See, I forgot that we gotta find the goblin. And I was like, damn it, he's not moving in. Yeah, I forgot about this part. We actually have to <laughs> look for him. Uh, I'll take that. And I'll take the rocket boots, just in case you die. Even though I don't expect you to. Just in case. And let's go ahead and reforge. Just on this side, I guess. Powerful. Mm. Take the velocity for now. I don't, I don't really want to be spending gold. What is that? Why are you taking so long to kill it? I don't know. Okay. Spore Mother. Back to the hunt. I probably didn't even need to cut that clip there. Whatever. It don't matter. Spore Mother is up here somewhere. I don't know what. Okay. Don't worry about it. Let's go up here. Right there. Spore Mother is inside of here. Let's open this up a little bit. Even though I don't think it's a good idea. I kind of just need more room to fight her. I can't exactly fight her when she's in this little hole over here. Oh my gosh, she's hitting me with something. She's hitting me with those spores. I just need those other enemies to not be in there. Wait, this might work actually. Shoot, if she stays like this, this is... Oh god, those are getting close to me. Uh, sand spray, activate. This is my secret weapon against her. No, not that. Sand spray activate. There's a lot of enemies trying to interrupt this, interrupt this fight. Okay, we got a good bit of ammo, but I think I'd rather use other ammo instead. This is going pretty good. You know, Sport Mother is usually one of the tougher ones. But she kind of trapped herself, so... Is this her fault? Or is this my fault because I'm cheesing her? I don't know. It's, uh, it seems like a bit of both, honestly. I'm cheesing her, and she got trapped on her own. She spawned in the granite biome, okay? That was, that's not my fault. Can't be mad at me because she spawned in a different biome than she was supposed to. But uh, let's get rid of a bunch of this. Make sure I actually have the item we have to turn in. Because that would be bad if I didn't. Okay, we got it. Let's head on back. Store the beautiful 12 gold that we have. And then we'll place this down. This nice statue. Alright, who am I talking to? Oh, you. Cough it up. I don't even remember what this does. So few spore clouds after taking damage i could put this on with the uh was it the amadeus spark and i would just like just be exploding <laughs> he's floating a bunch of damage effects everywhere hey it's daytime beautiful all right hold up let me uh fix my inventory and then i'll meet you guys at the ocean all right arena is ready let's do it boom buff jellyfish time all right hopefully we don't get clapped i don't know we'll see 
I don't think we will. If we just stay on the move. Wait, is this rain effect from fucking the jellyfish? Or is this just very interesting timing? It might just be very interesting timing. Oh man, this is looking extremely easy so far. We gotta watch out for that uh, little like tsunami attack. Not tsunami attack. Whirlpool attack. We should start sucking this in. That that's one of the things that we gotta worry about the most. This thing does a good amount of damage and also pulls you in. Let's use this. The velocity is really fast. We want some velocity. And also, it can probably kill all the uh, enemies next to it. Or the smaller enemies. We have, have we gotten hit? I don't know. Oh, she's doing the whirlpool attack. She's doing the whirlpool attack. I think I got hit at some point in time, but I don't know. Welcome to my no hit run. Uh, Queen Jellyfish Edition. Oh! Y'all seen the dodge. You guys really want to hit me. It's all good. Oh, she's doing that whirlpool a little too damn high. She's doing that whirlpool a little too damn high. Oh my god. I got I barely got hit. Look how much health I'm missing. Uh do the sand spray. You do tsunami, I do sand sprayer. It's a whirlpool. Why do I keep on saying sand a tsunami? Alright, so I bought the crab claw. He doesn't really sell much right now. So I'm not really gonna worry too much. Maybe I should buy the shark fin. Probably like five shark fins, you never know. It's gonna be useful. Waiting for that missile gun, but I don't think he sells that until after Skeletron. No, I'd be moving fluidly underwater. What the heck? Oh, it's because I got that thing on. Alright, there you go. Boss is dead. Let's see what goodies we get. Boom! Give us the blunderbuss. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's beautiful right there. Is this thing worth having? Probably not. Yeah, I'm not gonna keep that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's really worth having. Not that useful, too, to be honest. But we got the blunderbuss. It's pretty good. It shoots a decent amount. I don't know what I just did. Yeah, lock it. Um, it shoots a decent amount. And it shoots really fast. I said that the wrong way. It's got really good shooting speed. What the fuck is that called? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's really fast. Uh, let's go ahead and toss this in here. Hold on. Toss that in there. We're going to do one more thing before we end off this episode. And that is put our familiar wig back on. And also, take on Wasteland. Just for the one time. Quick Wasteland for the boys. Okay, I was about to say, like, I can't make that jump. I do still have a double jump. Oh, you know what I can do? Uh, is there even sand in here? There is not. Okay, give me like 25 cents. Okay, there's a little bit more than 25. Put this in here. We're gonna make a sandstorm in a bottle. Because we can, that's why. Boom, and it's rejuvenating. Look at that. Woo! The little spin. Hold up. Let me cut down this tree. I'm very sorry, gnome. I know that was a part of your beautiful gnome home, but I'm running low on wood. Do it. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. This spin. Dude, he gets some. He gets some turns on that spin. All right, let's go ahead and let's fight one wasteland. We're gonna use a blunderbuss too. We don't really have a lot of ammo. I don't think we're tanking enough to just eat shots from this boss. You know what we do have now? Fucking movement in general. We can move around so much now. Like this boss must stand a chance. This part, I don't even worry about this part. Let me get this frost burn on him though. Coming out of it. Quick frost burn. I'm gonna use this until I run out of ammo. I don't think this is the strongest gun. Well, it doesn't even have a damage reforge, I think. Right? Yeah, it's just nimble. Uh, we can get way better reforge on it. We'll probably do a lot of damage. Probably. I don't know. It's not bad. The spread is really good for taking out multiple enemies. But uh, other than that, it's just like pretty much a better musket times five in a bunch of different directions. So we'll use the dart gun, the good old dart gun. This is our infinite ammo gun right here. Really slow infinite ammo gun, but it's the best we got. I can't be missing it. Like, missing is bad. No, it's just the same thing. We use the only weapon he gave on him. This boss is really hard. <laughs> Need more sand, man. How do I get more sand? 
gotta be waiting in more sand. I'm talking about regular sand too. Like, I can't just be blowing up deserts. I can't. No, I'll blow up one of the deserts. We're gonna, we're gonna turn the desert into like a crater. I don't know which desert, but one of them's gonna be turned into a crater. <laughs> we're gonna see what that looks like. Cause, cause I do have like three deserts on here. That's not even including beaches. Like, there's that desert over there. I'm gonna turn that desert into a crater, alright? I'm not gonna do it on camera though. We're gonna end this episode off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go render this video and then back to Fallout 76. Let me know in the comments what you guys wanna see for Fallout 76 videos if you are a Fallout 76 viewer. Bye bye!